Evening. Hello. We've not done these for a while. Feel a well, bit out of sorts. It seems like a while, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm all at sixes and sevens. It's probably, in all fairness, about five months yeah. since we've last done this. So Probably. I mean, we did it a few months ago for one night. Yeah. But this is yeah, a long time. Coming. So it's been a while, so we're a bit rusty, so you'll have to bear with us. Um, but we're going to... We're going on holiday tomorrow. Um and we're going to the hotel tonight. Yes, and do some twilight check-in. Only because we're going with Jet 2, and we normally go with Two. TUI, but with Jet Jet 2, you can drop your case off the night before. So I think this is just curiosity, really, isn't it? Well, yeah. This is why we've done it. Because we were going to Miller and Carter, so we've cancelled going for one meal, because we wanted to do this instead. Yeah, so we've got a hotel near the airport. Yeah. Well, on the way there, we'll go by the airport, drop our case off and check in on... So then tomorrow morning we can leave a bit later and go straight and just to security. Go f- I mean, we're stopping in the hotel just purely because we didn't want to have to... Um, drive to the airport or drive back. To drive, to drive back. back. again tomorrow morning. Exactly. So hence why we're um, we're doing this now then. So we're going to go. Yeah. Um, we'll pick this back up in the car when we've filled the car up and stuff. I'd just like to say now, so I don't forget, if you would like and subscribe, that would be absolutely great rather than leaving it to the end. <laughs> Probably because nobody gets to the end. <laughs> sure they do. Um, but we'll see you in the car on the way to Birmingham Airport. So see you in a bit. Okay, we're just in the car park one multi-storey. I think it's £8.50 for an hour. Um, so yeah, so like I was saying at home, um, we get this drop off your case. Twilight check-in. Twilight check-in, so it's the night before. Um, as long as we're there by nine. nine o'clock tonight. And your flight's after, so your flight's before 11am I think. Hopefully you can hear Adam explaining it. But we thought, well, why not? Let's give it a go. Let's see, because it's going to make it so much more easier in the morning when we actually go. And because when we turn up in the morning, we can just go straight to security because we've got our boarding passes. We've checked in. So we'll, we'll let you know how we get on. But after this, we decided to book a hotel so we save driving back home. So we're going to the Regency. Is it the Regency? The Regency, yeah. The Regency in Soliol. Yeah. So I think it was £65 for the night, yeah. so not too bad, really, it's what we would have paid for the meal. Yeah, um, so obviously once we've checked in, um, we'll get back into the car, go over to the room and I'll show you what the room's like, so yeah. we'll see you in a bit. We didn't speak much on the way here because it was a bit dark oh. on the motorway. That was Adam, just, I hope you heard him, we didn't speak too much because obviously it's dark and you couldn't really see us anyways so but we're just swirling around this car park at the minute <laughs> aren't we yeah uh, trying to trying to find a space so we'll let you know um how smoothly it goes and if it does go smoothly at all fingers crossed hey eh? see you in a bit just wanted to show you the hustle and bustle birmingham airport what time is it 20 to 8 20 to 8 right you hear that plane all you can smell is the um, jet fuel quite strong hey that monorail is just over there Ibis hotels but let's go and check these cases in 
Right, that's it. Um, literally, nobody was there, was it? Went straight to the counter, checked in. Yeah. Um, I had a laughing joke with the girl that was working there. Um, so we get a bit of an extra lie in now because we're completely checked in. Go straight to security in the morning. Straight through to security. So no waiting for scissor. No, so we'll walk past the queues in the morning. <laughs> so we'll let you know how we get on anyway. But we're heading back. We're going to go and get a drink now. I'm a bit thirsty, are you? Yeah. And, and then we're going to go to the Regency. So we'll let you know what the room's like when we're there. So see you in a bit. Bye. Right, is this me or is this everybody? Do you know when you're coming down a multi-storey car park? One, I would never park. Do you know on the end parking bays? Just because you wouldn't want anybody to scratch you. But as you're coming down here, how tight do they actually make it? I mean, look, there's a big pick up there, so I definitely won't want to be coming down in that. Adam's very quiet. I'm not trying to contemplate. But let me know what you think, because I'm just kind of... No, I don't like it. I mean, I do it, but I don't like it. Look at the concentration on his face. We're still going down. From what floor, Ad? Five. I feel a bit sick now, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're here now. We're here. We're here, look. We can get out. Do you know, this always happens to us whenever we come and get a Costa, whenever we seem to go on holiday. They always close. Oh, closed. Because that is just shut. It's, it's quarter past eight. It closed at and eight. And actually shuts at eight o'clock. So we are now going to go to Tesco and see what we can pick up there. Happy days. There you go, we just pulled up. Fijiancy Hotel. Soli Hall. Let's go and check this place out and we'll see what it's all about. Right, that's it from the front, so I'm gonna go and check in now and see you in the room. Why are you crying? No feather pillows. I told you to bring your own. Yeah, I'm playing woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's crack on with this room tour. Okay. Right, welcome to room 108 at the Regency. And this is the quick room tour before we decide to trash the room. So I'll turn the camera around and, the room's already and trashed. you can have a look. Let's walk in, so there's your door. We are, it's always good to make yourself familiar with the fire evacuation plan. Don't be a geek, come on. There we are, room 108 in the Regency. Right, now I've got to say, um, without being, I'm not moaning about the room at all. Adam seems to have walked off. <laughs> I think all you, all you mean to say is the room is lovely, but it's a bit rough around the edges. It's a bit... Um, it seems a bit TLC, really. Definitely needs some TLC, because let me show you. So you walk in anyway, so this is the bathroom. So as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. Um, like I said, I think it's just when you look, when you look close, like when you look in the bath, all chipped and I suppose you can see all the chips in the bottom. Yeah, the main thing is that it's clean and got comfy beds, so that's all you need. And obviously looking at the ceiling, I presume there's been some kind of leak or something up there because something definitely needs <laughs> doing with the ceiling. But anyway, I'm focusing on the negative. It's not negative. Um, ultimately, um, it's somewhere to sleep before holiday. So let's leave there. So you come out, there's your full length mirror. The room is massive. The room is absolutely massive. Um, let me walk to the other side. Now, turn around, I'll show you where Adam is now. 
Can anybody hear me? So that's where we were, the door, look. Bathroom to your left, which is there. So let's let's go through this room tour then. So single chair, wardrobe, double wardrobe. <laughs> with, an board, with an ironing Iron. board and some very squeaky doors. Massive bed, absolutely massive bed. Two different bedside tables. <laughs> Two different bedside tables. But again, I suppose it's um, I suppose it's supposed to be Regency furniture and stuff. Um, but again, you can look at the bed. Look, you've got on and off switches. For that, and I presume that's that's that one. So again, it's, it's a king size bed. I, that, I would say that is probably um, a super king or something like that. Because mm. if you think, look, there's two pillars side by side, and you've still got quite a lot of space yeah. either side. Okay. Um, chair in the corner, TV, TV on the wall. Um, I don't know. I presume it works. I've not turned right. it on. Um, tea, kettle, tea, coffee and sugar. Yeah, yeah that's my one. bag. Tea, coffee, sugar. Um, I put that lid up, it wasn't left like that. So all we've done is just bought some very, very healthy snacks. Um, got water. I look, I got my Costa because Costa was short. We've got some water. And I've got some Yazoo. Some milk for his heartburn, because bless him. That's for the tea and coffee. <laughs> and, and his heartburn. And what, what did we get? Eccles cakes, cinnamon buns. cinnamon buns, and some pecan pastries. So happy days. So anyway, Looks. I'm going away from the room tour. You've got this. Um, I suppose it's what is what is this? It's like a sideboard idea. It's a sideboard. It's like a desk. Like a desk. Hair Either dryer. side hair dryer. Um, Shelves. Yeah. In the drawers. Three drawers. And I think there's a drawer. Oh, I don't. Drawer in the middle as well. Um, plug there. Plug down there. Some nice artwork there and there. Artwork on the walls. And here. Uh, turning it round. To there. Looking at them, plug down here. No. Um, is there any more plugs? There probably is somewhere. There isn't behind this one. The one there isn't down there. That's why I thought there's no lamps on the table, though, isn't there? Yeah, there's no there. lamps. You've got to plug down there with the TV socket in, which I suppose you could unplug. You've got two sockets there. Well, not found in the Bible either. So, four, four sockets. Um, down there. Yeah. Um, bear with me anyway, because I've just got this DJI. It's a new camera, isn't it? Yeah. So we're trying to get used to it. Um, we've still <laughs> got the GoPro, which we're going to take onto the beach, aren't we? Yeah. Well, we thought this is supposed to be really good. We've done all the research. It's supposed to be really good in low, low lights and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but it's just a little bit weird getting used to having a gimbal. I think you just have to move around a lot slower. So if it looks like I'm going slow, it's probably because it. Because I am, basically. Window, yeah, huge windows. Oh, we're right on the front. So, when you've seen me record at the front of the hotel, we are there, literally looking onto the main road. But I mean, the good news is that we're completely checked in now at the airport, so we don't have to leave here till seven o'clock. The flights are quarter to ten. So she said, as long as you're here two hours. Before, so we leave at seven, get to the car park about quarter past, walk to security for half past, and let's go through security. So, otherwise, what time would we normally leave the house? Well, if we hadn't have had twilight check in, we would have made sure we got to the airport for six. Yeah, I'd have thought, I'm trying to think. Well, let me turn the camera around and we'll carry this conversation. Um, yeah, so checking in now as... Yeah, it's giving us at least an hour, an hour and a half extra in yeah, the morning. next hour in bed. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm not going to moan at that. No. Yeah. No. So we'll, we'll set the alarm for six. 
leap here for seven. Yeah. And then obviously, um, we'll be heading to Gran Canaria via Jet 2. But we'll record that in the morning anyway, won't we? Yeah. 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 But so far, nice super impressed, smooth. super impressed with um, Jet 2 holidays. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we'll keep you posted throughout the week and we'll see how we go, how we get on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think we're going to end this now. I mean, it's yeah. just a quick room tour. Nothing to write home about. Just moving the complimentary towels. Yeah, just moving the towels. So this is just to show you very quickly um, what the room is actually yeah. like. It's nothing to show you what's actually... There's what towels in the bathroom. I mean, it is a god in the hotel because we don't know. Because we literally get here, yeah. check in. We've got probably an hour and a half before There's a bar, there's a restaurant. I think it's a sports bar. There's definitely a restaurant. There's like a conservatory area where you can have food as well. So there's loads to do here. And I think there might be some kind of um, gym area as well. Right. Uh, car parking was free, so that was complimentary. Um, it's just we use it literally just as a base before we go on holiday. Um, yeah, it just makes a holiday. It makes a holiday start a day before, doesn't it? First, it's clean. You've got to come to a bed. It's just for night before going on holiday. Yeah. We're not staying here for a week or two weeks. It's it does. It does look very, home. very clean. Yeah. And that's all you need for a night, really, isn't it? And the so bed's comfy. The bed's huge, the bed's comfy. And like I say, for £65, you can't really go wrong. No, I think it's quite... It's not that far from the airport, so no. like less than five Two miles. junctions down, isn't it? Yeah. Less than five miles. So, what we're going to do now, anyway, um, like I say, we're five miles away from the airport, so super close, really, now, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. No, um, and tomorrow morning is um, a Saturday morning. So Saturday morning, so... Traffic will be fine. Touch wood. Touching all the wood here. Plenty of wood in the Regency. <laughs> Lots of wood. Lots of wood. Um, so we'll give you our honest uh, review in the morning to see how, we, how well we slept. Yeah. Well, well. Yeah. But we're going to go now um, and just start getting ready and settling down, ready for the early start tomorrow. So if you did like the video, um, if you give it a like and a thumbs up, that would be great. And we'll see you tomorrow for travel day to Gran Canaria so we'll see you in the morning bye bye